what's a little trick that you can do to make your jerk bait have a wider wobble? Now that's a pretty good one. Anybody got the answer to that one? Good morning guys and girls, November 28th, November 28th. We're going to look at 1 Corinthians 13, 13. 13 is not an unlucky number here. 13 is a very lucky number because it says, So these three things continue forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Think about that for a second. We know how important hope is in our life. We know how important faith is. We know, I mean, Jesus talked all the time about, oh, ye of little faith, where is your faith? You need to have a stronger faith. And yet, God tells us right here, of faith, hope, and love, the greatest is love. Love is even greater than faith. Think about that for a second. That's pretty amazing. When you've been fishing and living with the same woman for over says here 45 years, let me add over 55 years, you learn a great deal about love and just how powerful God really made love. As I look back and realize just how much I love Chris today, <laughs> I wonder, I wonder if I was really in love with her at all 55 years ago. I'm sure that I was. But love's like a rubber plant that grows beyond our wildest imaginations. Y'all have seen a rubber plant, have you? I've got a buddy of mine up in uh, Plainville, Kansas that I fish and hunt with a lot, real close friend, Dennis Hamel. Dennis has got a rubber plant that he's had as long as I've ever known him, I, I guess 30 or 40 years, and it was just a little bitty rubber plant down uh, in, 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 in the bottom of his house, and now it goes up to the second floor and all the way up to the ceiling, and they trim it all the time. Love will grow like a rubber plant. It'll grow beyond your wildest imagination. I could never imagine loving a woman as much as, I, as much as I love her. I miss her almost immediately when we are apart. I once heard uh, somebody say, and I can't remember it, who it was, I think it was President Ronald Reagan, said that he started missing Nancy the moment she left the room. That's about how I am. As great and strong as that love is, I believe God's love for her and for me is even greater than that. Think about that for a second. God's love was carried all the way to the cross some 2,000 years ago. And here's something else that I believe. I believe that God's love has grown for us every day since that day. If you're out there today, and we've just had Thanksgiving this week, if you're out there today and, and, and you're not feeling quite as loved as you think you should. Maybe you're having a bad day. Maybe some things are going wrong in some of your relationships. And um, We just had a great big family holiday, uh, Thanksgiving, and a lot of families were not together because of the, the virus and the crazy things that's going on in this world. I hear this year categorized as crazy. That word comes up more than any other, and it's certainly been that. Uh, but. Uh, but a lot of families didn't get together this year for Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving is a traditional family holiday, a family holiday created to thank God for all the good things that He gives us in our life. But if you're out there and, and you don't feel quite as loved as you think you should be, or you're not, you don't, don't maybe not feel loved at all, can I tell you, God loves you. God loves you more than you can ever imagine. When you start praising God, you can start praising Him right now today. You start honoring God. You start putting God first in your life. First in everything you do, you think of God first. You involve Him in everything you do. God will put more people around you that love you more than you could ever imagine. That's the way God is. The God that I serve is a loving God. Not only does He love you, He will make sure that you feel loved. All right, here's our tip for today. This is really a good one right here and, uh, uh, because this really, really works. You know, a lot of times a wide wobble bait will catch a lot more fish than a bait that's got a tight wobble to it. And a jerk bait, uh, most of them have a split ring on the front of them. If they don't, you need to tie a loop knot 
on the front of it or, or add a split ring to it if it doesn't affect the action. But most of them got a split ring. And here's our tip for today. A snap attached to the split ring will give a jerk bait a wider wobble. It's a tremendous tip, a tip that not many people really know about. I'm not talking about a snap and swivel. I'm talking about just a snap, just a snap. When you put a snap and swivel on, it changes everything totally, but just a snap. I like to use black snaps because for the most part they disappear under the water. But if you'll just put a snap, and, and where they, that wide wobble seems to work the best is in colder water which is what we're having now. Our water's getting colder and colder, and it'll get, keep getting colder all the way up till probably about the middle of February here in the south where we live. But if you'll put that snap on there and use a black, put that snap on there, it will widen that wobble out, and that wider wobble will, a lot of days, produce more bites. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. We're about to turn this month over to December, and remember, God loves you. Remember, I love you too.